Praise the Lord in the sound. Praise the Lord every Come time. Come on, can y'all praise the Lord? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is so good. Yes. It's good to be here in Jesus' name. Somebody look at somebody and say, glad to see you. Yes. Glad to see you on this beautiful Mother's Day Sunday. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We welcome you to Love of Jesus Deliverance Evangelistic Center Community Church. I am Apostle Dr. Dawn Nicolani. And I'm Bishop Dennis Manning. And we are here lifting up the name of Jesus, where we know that He is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And we welcome you to come on in and worship yes. with us. Go ahead and click that like button as well as that share button. Be the social media evangelist that you are yeah. so that someone else can hear the word going forth on this Sunday. Amen? Amen. Let us get started in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time and this hour, Lord. Thank we you, thank you for all the mothers, God. Thank you, God, for and Lord Jesus, you wouldn't be here if it wasn't for your mother. Lord, we thank you right now. For your honor, we praise you, we lift you up on high, we glorify you, Lord, we just thank you for who you are and what you are in our lives. Have your way, Holy Ghost, we love you. Lord, we thank you, God. God, we still here because of your grace and your mercy, God. Holy Ghost, you are welcome. We honor you, we praise you. Lord, you are Jehovah Jireh, our Jehovah Nisi, our Jehovah Rapha. Have your way, Holy Ghost, we love you, we magnify you, we honor you. Let the church say amen, amen, amen. amen. and amen. amen. Our opening scripture is coming from Psalm 67. Psalm 67. God be merciful unto us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us, Selah, that thy way may be known upon the earth, thy saving help among all nations. Let the people praise thee, O Lord. Let all the people praise thee. O oh, let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for thou shalt judge the people righteously and govern the nations upon earth, Selah. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase, and God, even our own God, shall bless us. God shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Come on, let's praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to his wonderful name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Once again, happy Mother's Day to all mothers that are out there. Uh, this is uh, a beautiful day. It was raining all day yesterday, and I said, Lord, please just try it to rain for Mother's Day Amen. so that people can be able to move through with, you know, they look nice outfits, hats, bonnets, and church shoes, and church outfits. And I just thank God that when I walked out the door that the rain was held back and the sun was shining. So thanks be unto our God for that beautiful Mother's Day gift. So That's the Father and thy mother, this that's the first commandment that comes along with promise. And the promise is that you will live long on the earth. Some of us, you know, on this Mother's Day, we have my moms that have gone on and transitioned to glory. They're no longer here. But you have to think about the good times. You have to hold on to the memories and what you the good seed that was planted in you by your mother. The teaching, the training. Some of us have gotten far from what we have been taught because we look at the world and we think that the world is offering us more than the wisdom that was given to us by our mothers. So just examine yourself. Take an opportunity to search yourself. Lord, have I gone far from you who is our great parent? The one who has established us to be even placed in the earth. Have we gone far away from his principles and his precepts where we feel like, you know what, ah, I can do this thing on my own. No, honor thy father. Honor thy mother. Are you honoring God in the things that you say and do? Are you honoring God by executing your life assignment, by fulfilling your destiny? Search yourself. If you don't yet know who Jesus is, ask him to come into your heart to save you, to deliver you, to set you free. Let him know that you believe and you want him.
to be the captain of your soul, the lover of your heart, the lifter of your head, so that you can sojourn through this life, living it abundantly. The only thing you have to do is say, Lord, come into my heart. Let's repent. We're about to take communion. Let's just repent. Let's get things right with the one who first loved us. Father God, we just thank you for all that you have done. We thank you, Father God, for every mother that you have placed in this earth to nurture, to raise, to grow. And Lord, sometimes we even have mothers that we feel like they necessarily may have not done the job that they were supposed to do. But nonetheless, they were the ticket that got us here yes. into this earth. Lord. So for that, we're grateful. Yes. Father, I just pray right now in the name of Jesus that you would just touch everybody, Lord. Whatever they're feeling at this time, at this moment, you know, speak, Lord. Mm. Give them that word that they need. Yes. Father, we ask right now that you would touch those who may be having, having ailments in their bodies. Touch mm. right now. Yes. From the crown of their head to the soles of their feet. We rebuke sickness, disease, and infirmity. But we know that by the stripes of Jesus Christ, we are healed. Yes. Touch God by the power of your hand. Yes, Jesus. Father, right now we ask that you dry up, oh God, and give people this the wisdom that they need, oh God, against diabetes, oh God, yes. cancer, lupus, in the name of Jesus. Healing power flow. Mm -hmm. yes. Arthritis. Yes. Lord, someone's dealing with a liver condition, a pancreatic condition. Healing in the name of Jesus. Yes. Touch the Lord. Mm -hmm. yes. Right now, we bind up migraines. We bind up sickness of joints. Mm. Father, touch, mm. lubricate, heal, yes. renew the mind, yes. repair the synapses in the nerves, oh God. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Lord. But we know that you can do it, for you are Jehovah Rupa, healer. Yes. Touch, Lord. Glory. By the power of your mighty hand. Mm. Now, Father, I pray for provision. You are a provider, you are a shepherd that we shall not want. Father, in the name of Jesus, there's a mother that's trying. There's a mother that's trying to go beyond two or three jobs. Father, I pray that you will relieve the burden in the name of Jesus. And Lord, that you will show, Father God, direction on what needs to be done. Move into that household, oh God. Move on those jobs, oh God. Lord, we know that everything is going around, oh God. But your word remains the same. Oh God, so we look to you, Father God. You said promotion and all good things come from above. So we look to you, Father God, to pour down mm. on that dear mother who's struggling. Yeah. Promote her. Yes. And help her. Provide in the name of Jesus. Mm. Father, I just thank you right now for those who may be feeling motherless on today. We thank you, Father, for you are a great parent. We can look to you for everything and anything. Let them see, Father God, that even though they may feel like they're going through, you are right there with them. Never leaving us nor forsaking us. Heal and repair the hearts of those who feel motherless, abandoned, or rejected. Touch God by the power of your hand. Place people in around them, men and women of God around. That's going to show true, genuine, and copy love yes. in the name of Jesus. Jesus. And Father, we thank you right now for the breakthrough. We thank you for breakthrough in character, personality. We thank you for breakthrough in our emotions. We thank you, Father God, for understanding us where we are mm. and showing us what we need to do to get ahead. Father, we honor you on this day. And we give you glory and praise. Do it for us, O oh God. Do it for us, O oh God. Yes. Repair, restore, and renew by the power of your might. And Lord, when you do these things, we walk up and give you the praise, the honor, and the glory that is due to you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, everybody. Say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thus saith the Lord God. Honor the anointing, saith the Lord God, for the anointing is my presence in the midst, saith the Lord God. Yea, do nothing but honor me, saith the Lord God. Don't do things that are going to defile the anointing, or disrespect the anointing, or ignore the anointing, or take the anointing for granted, saith the Lord God. Yea, I have anointed some people that they might be able to bring you a word, bring you knowledge, bring you understanding. I have anointed you, saith the Lord God, 
that the work that you do may be supernatural, saith the Lord God. Mm. Yea, honor the anointing and honor those that bring the anointing, saith the Lord God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I just want to share this in response and to the in obedience to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Uh, uh, I think last month we had an event here. The women had an event here for uh, Women's Month. And Deaconess Nesbitt, she said to me, she said, thank you for being like a mother. Now I know the majority of my congregation is older than me. But the thing is to, when you have spiritual eyes to see through the spirit, of course, I'm not old enough to be some of you all's mother, but the anointing as the prophet went forth, understanding the anointing, the nurturing anointing, the mothering anointing, the anointing that will pray for you when you don't yes. even know that you're being prayed for, the anointing that has an understanding to know what, when you're going through something. Mothers just have automatically, they don't always have, because sometimes when mothers call, people don't pick up their phone. So some, sometimes you only have to get a phone call, but mother just knows. And as the prophet spoke, he said, understand it and, 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 and recognize, don't take granted the anointing. Amen. Because it's not, some people don't care about you at all. They'll look at you for what they can benefit from you, and then that's it. But when you recognize that someone has a mothering heart and a mothering spirit to have great concern and compassion for you, embrace it and honor it. Because it is very rare. Very rare. Because for, for, for the most part, a lot of people walk around this earth and they're just concerned about themselves. Mm -hmm. But the prophet just said there's some that have been chosen. Mm -hmm. They've been chosen mm -hmm. to have a heart, to have compassion, to be in a place of prayer, mm -hmm. to lift you up even when you don't know about it. Amen. Honor the anointing. Honor the people of God that he has placed in your life. And that commandment that was given with promise is promised to you that you will live long on the earth. Come on, somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for the word. Thank you for the prophecy. That came forth. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And at this time, we're going to go forth with our communion as we remember the life, the death, and the resurrection. And of course, to know that he is going to return. We remember what he has done for us. We remember the sacrifice that was made. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, starting at the 23rd verse. But I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup. When he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, when ye come together to eat, tarry one for another. And if any man hunger, let him eat at home, that ye come not together unto condemnation. And the rest will I set in order when I come. May the Lord add a blessing to his already blessed word. I'm going to ask for Prophet Jenkins to pray over the cup and for Elder McCombs to pray over the bread. Heavenly Father, we do thank you for this communion service. We thank you, God, that you were able to go to the cross and die for us that we might be saved, healed, and delivered. God, we thank you for this bread that is symbolic of your body that was broken for you. And as we eat this, God, we pray that you would heal, deliver, and set free. Save, God. Lord, we just give you praise, honor, and glory for what you have done for us. 
And God, we thank you that we're able to be your servants in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you, Lord, tonight, this afternoon, for being here one more time to be able to take communion yes. with the other family members. We thank you, Lord God, for the blood that was shed on Calvary, God. We thank you that you went all the way to the end. Yes. You didn't give up, but you pursued until it was finished. And God, we thank you that the blood has been shed for our behalf, that we might be clean and washed and new and refreshed once again. We thank you that when all else fails, the blood never fails. And Father, we thank you for hearing prayer. We pray that you bless this that we receive now in Jesus' name. Let's give reverence to the leading of the Holy Spirit, how he directs us to the truth. And let us honor our great Father, the one who loves us unconditionally. As you eat this bread and drink this cup, let it do a new thing within you. Eat and drink all of it. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. That went down real good. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Those of you who are here, you can just stand to your feet. Glory to God. Come on. It's a worship. It's a worship Sunday. Before we leave out, come on, let's just give God glory. Hallelujah. Let's give Him honor. Let's bless the wonderful name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He is awesome. He is glorious in all that he makes us. Hallelujah. We thank you for joining in with us on today at Love of Jesus Deliverance. Know that God loves and cares for you. Until we meet or speak again, we pray that the blessing of the Lord continue to keep you rich, adding no sorrow to it. And we leave you with this. I am blessed. And I cannot be cursed. Because Jesus, Jesus is Lord. God bless you. Happy Mother's Day.